Hello, welcome to TVP Education TeamSpeak tutorial. Go to TeamSpeak.com, scroll over downloads, click on TeamSpeak 3. Now this is the important part, you need to know if you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And you also need to know if you're on a 32-bit client or a 64-bit. You will not download the server. Make sure you download the client because you are a client, you're not a TeamSpeak server. I am a 64-bit client. So I will click on that. I agree to whatever they say. <laughs> and now it should begin to download. No, no thanks, tank me to the download. Feel free to fast forward. If you know all this stuff, fast forward to the next parts. Uh, the second half of the video will be a little bit more advanced type of uh, use. Next, I agree. Install for anybody using this computer, that's usually okay. Yes, 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 yes. Install. Oh look, I'm installed. Fantastic. All right, so I'll close out of this, and wow, I have a TeamSpeak 3 client. All right, I'll open up this. It'll take me through a couple of screens. Uh, setup wizard, choosing your nickname, microphone settings. So I'll do this real quick. I'm going to call myself Sean. And next thing, voice activation detection or push to talk. Our server is set up where you are forced to push to talk, so might as well click this. Click on push to talk. Click on no hockey assigned. Now is when I will push my left control button and now it's commanded to every time I push left control button, it will open up my microphone. And that's necessary, especially if you're in big meetings. You would not want your microphone to activate upon your voice because you never know what you're actually gonna be saying. All right, here's the test of it. And that I pushed the control button because that was my hockey I assigned and it tests if my microphone work, works or not. Next, uh, I don't worry about this, but you can set up a hotkey to mute your speakers. I pass that up. And this is irrelevant because I'm going to show you how to turn this off. Next, uh, no. Don't enable overlay, otherwise this uh, thing will be inside every one of your programs. Now you're all done. I can open up bookmarks, server lists, rent your own TeamSpeak server. I'm not going to rent my own TeamSpeak server. That's them trying to advertise to you. Um, not going to open up my public server list. I'm going to keep everything closed. Now I just now the program itself is open. Okay, I closed it just so I could reopen it for you. And this gives you a nice little tutorial of stuff. Um, I closed it, reopened it from scratch. Uh, here, here's the, the fast method, and I'll go later into the in, later in the video, which you do not necessarily have to watch. Is more advanced features. Right now, I'm just going to get you connected. Connect connections connect okay and here is where you want to put in the details this one is called uh oops our server is called voice dot the venus project dot com uh, and server password is tvp in capital letters tvp and i will click connect and it is trying to resolve there we go I am connected first thing you want to do first thing first thing um, you can do a quick way self sound pack sounds deactivated otherwise every single thing that I do in here is going to be a noise it's gonna be annoying every time somebody comes in channel it makes a noise so I will go to self sound pack sounds deactivated that's the fastest way to do it then I don't have to deal with those voices anymore because uh, those voices will speak up as you have your microphone open and it will disrupt the meeting. Uh, the more advanced way to do that is go into settings, options, notifications. Here's the drop down of sound pack, sounds deactivated. This permanently does it. And apparently I don't have to click apply, so I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to go back and make sure that that took. Yep, there it is. All right, um, and now I'm in the server. Top left over here, people who are in the server. I can here's the entire all the rooms of the server. A lot of rooms in this server, and here is Daniel. He's going to be helping me out here in a second, but I'll give you a quick uh, rundown. Um, I need help. Who's going to be able to help me? Well, here's an information help room. I'm now in there. Uh, but nobody's in there to help me and can this person help me probably not can this person help me Igor uh, he looks like he's involved he's got some tags on him but what I'm really looking for is a person with server admin or 
SM for server moderator. This person can help me out a lot. So what I can do, get help from one of these people. In fact, it's their jobs to help you out. I will right click anywhere in their name. I'll even make this small and do it again. I found Daniel down here. He has all this crap next to his name. I'll right click him and I will poke him. This sends a message directly to him. And don't worry, it's the server's uh, admins and moderator's jobs to do this. And I will uh, ask him for help. Let's see if he responds. And um, basically what the person's job is to do is come help you out um, with whatever you need. You know, if you need permissions, if you're part of a team, then they should assign you correct badges. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, he came up. Hello? Help. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, to give you a quick breakdown of the server itself, if you see the room I landed in when I came in was a welcome room. No speaking in here because uh, it, it's just a landing room. You need to jump out of that room into an information help room, technical support room, education room. Uh, on, the, on Sundays, is uh, here's where we have the meetings for Sundays, so we unlock this room and everybody jumps in there. I as a new user can even jump down and open discussions and use these channels for anything I need. All right. Uh, uh, below here, I should not be able to jump in this room, uh, but I can because Daniel g uh, made me a server, and uh, so this is a team members area only. So this way, we can sometimes jump down here and take care of some team members. If you're having a meeting, you don't want possibly troublemakers or people jamming music to jump down and disrupt your meeting. So we provide a private area. So this server has both public areas, com you know, plenty of room for people to have meetings and private areas down here. If you are a specific coordinator, a POC, or a team member, we should just try to verify that and give you permissions as necessary. That's basic level one type of stuff. If you have some more specific problems with your sounds, you're gonna go up here to settings. I'll make it small so it's probably what you're seeing. Up here on settings, you're gonna to wanna to find uh, setup wizard. This will retake you through that wizard to set up your microphone and your speakers. If you need to go into more details, you go down here to options. Options, capture. All right, options, capture. This one, I have my push to talk on. That's what I want. My capture mode. This one should be uh, automatic, best use best mode. And then capture device. If you know what your microphone is called, I have a meteor mic, I have a webcam, I have a input on my sound card, and I even have a digital inside, so I'm not worried about that. I know that I'm using my Meteor mic, so I'll just click that. That way I know. It was already working, but uh, this is better. And I will even test it. I will push Control and test it. There it is. It's working. More mid-level type of features on here. Reduce, reduce your echo. Go to Advanced Options. And you can click on Remove Background Noise is a good one. Automatic Voice Game Control. Delay Releasing Push to Talk. A lot of people have problems pushing their button. They let go, and then they finish their sentence. That's a problem. So that's what this uh, this little thing here is for. So you don't cut yourself off while speaking to other people. Every time you close the menu, push apply, and you're good to go. All right, so that takes care of the basics. And uh, you should have no problems. Now I'm going to go into more advanced features of TeamSpeak. Just and more advanced features for you to make your experience easier. One of the easiest things for me to do is just to click on my TeamSpeak and it will come right into this channel. I don't have to connect. I don't have to do anything. To do that, you have to manage your bookmarks. Go up here to bookmarks, manage bookmarks. And it, this is going to be like a preloaded list of all your TeamSpeak servers. So right now we're only going to be concerned about one. Uh, this one, don't worry about. This is the big, huge uh, voice.teamspeak.com. It's just got hundreds and hundreds of channels. We want to add a bookmark. This bookmark, I'm going to call it TVP. The address is, again, voice. The Venus Project. I'm a terrible typer. My name is Sean, and password is TVP in capital letters. Now, Check this out. You want to click on the more. All right. You have your information still here. I'll click back. It's basic information, advanced information. 
the advanced information is there, it's done. You can have it, you want to click this, connect on startup. This way when you open up TeamSpeak, it will automatically click to this server. You have to make sure you're highlighted here, you have to make sure the correct information is here. You have to click this box and everything else should be good to go. That's all you really need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this too. Do the command of the sound pack, sounds deactivated. So every time I open this server, it's going to be an automatic thing. Then I'm going to click apply. Apply, 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 apply. Okay, I'm going to close out. I'm going to close out of here. Now I'm going to test it. I'll open up my TeamSpeak 3 and boom, I am automatically inside this server. So that made that whole transaction a lot easier. There's other things you can do. The more advanced feature is to add another bookmark. Actually, yeah, uh, I don't know who else to add. But anyway, here say here's a list of bookmarks you have, okay? I know that this is one I'm going to automatically load to, so I'm going to cancel out of here, discard that. Um, oh, here's one. Add, right click uh, this area right here. You can add your master volume to this list, which is pretty important. Uh, right clicking on here, and I can show my server tabs. This is also a pretty cool little feature. So what I can do is I can connect, I can go to my bookmarks. I have two bookmarks here. I have the, the original TeamSpeak Public, which I told you is just the huge one, and the one we added, which is TVP, which I automatically join. If I add in more bookmarks, this list will grow. And I can right click on this, which is really nice, connect a new tab, and now I have two TeamSpeaks open. Two, I still have the original TVP open and I have the TeamSpeak public. So this could be any number of TeamSpeaks that you're aware of. Um, one, the, the tricky thing to this is it automatically muted my mic on this one and I think it left my sound open. So I'm now the commands of my mic are, is in this one and I have to go back to this tab by clicking on it and reactivate my mic. Boom, everything's back to normal. And now my mic is deactivated on this server, but the sounds are still activated. So that might become confusing. So you, while you're clicked on TeamSpeak public tab, you wanna also mute your sound and maybe even put toggle away status, which also does it over here. Oh, the pain in the butt. All right, so I'm officially here. Now I wanna change, oh, I wanna be over here now. Uh, open up my speakers, open up my microphone. Now I'm here. Um, so while you can exist in two uh, different team speaks and you can type in two t different team speaks, uh, you can't necessarily voice in two different team speaks at the same time. There are probably some options for that, but right now I won't go into that. Uh, another quick, quick uh, setting. Remember, every time it's going to default you to this channel. This channel is meaningless. The Venus Project official team speak server. This is like an admin channel or a, just a command channel. Don't worry about this. You need to be in the channel that you are in. Now I'm in the welcome room. If I type blah, 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 it'll show up in the welcome room and everybody else in that room can see it. Uh, so I go to open education. It will Now I'm on this tab. I can type in this tab. Uh, you really don't have any reason to be in this channel. You can if you want, but you can get lost and you can accidentally type in here and nobody will see it. All right. What else do we got? Um, I showed you bookmarks. I'm going to close this tab. Don't show this again. And now I'm back in the original TeamSpeak uh, team server for the, the Venus project. Uh, inside each one of these channel rooms should be a description of what the channel is for. Welcome room, pertinent link, links, blah, 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 descriptions. So information help room, even this one has information on it, technical support. So you click the channel heading and over to the right becomes the description. And even this on individuals, Victor, these are all teams he's in. Uh, sometimes people can load their picture. Yep, see, here you go, <laughs> Igor. <laughs> Fair. All right, so how can I load a picture? You click on your name, right click on it. So you, first you click it to highlight it, all right? Click, right click on it. I can change my nickname as an option. I can set my avatar, and that will set my picture. So I set my avatar, it goes into my computer, and I believe it has to be within a certain uh, size range. And boom, it'll show up right here. And what else is there? Right click, da 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 da. You can change your description. So this will say hi. And it'll show up right here as, where'd it go? Oh, hi. If somebody happens to click on your name and you want them to read a description, you can do that. You want them to have a picture, you can do that. 
and they can they will see all the teams you're a part of. Uh, other than that, uh, what else is there as far as advanced tools? Ah, showing flags. This is a pretty cool one. We're gonna go to settings, options, design, display country flags on clients. See that? Display country flags. Click apply, like always. And now we have country flags. So Farah is apparently from Israel. And you can scroll over with your mouse if you click correctly and it'll tell you a flag. Because I'm not the greatest at flags, but I did know that I did know this was America, by the way. And I didn't know this was Israel. This one, these ones get a little Russian Federation, that one's tough. Alright, anyways. Um, and you can even scroll over these and they'll tell you more details of what they are. The way we set up this server was to help give more easy descriptors of people. So I can generally tell that Farah is either a new person to this information, new person to the Venus Project, or they have uh, reset their computer. One of the two things. I know Igor already. Victor, I know a little bit already, but I can already tell, okay, he's, um, he's on support, technical support. And he's in the global activism team. And he speaks English and Japanese and Russian and Hebrew. So this is a very useful person for the things that we do. So you can communicate across different languages. All right, a couple extra things. We can disable this crap that scrolls across the bottom. Did you know official blah, 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 screw that. Don't need it. Uh, this tells you how fast you're going. If I double click Victor here, it'll automatically open up a private tab to him. So our text chat is private between us two now. If I type in open education right now, I will type to three people other than myself. If I type in this tab, I will only type to Victor. If I type in this tab, nobody's going to see it because this is the command tab of the entire server. So you want to always make sure you're typing in the actual tab you're supposed to be and also uh, the, the individual you're supposed to be. And you can close these out. Uh, I think it does not let you close these. That's good. That's a good thing. There's uh, much more advanced features than this, but uh, for example, if you want to go straight to the Venus Project website, then you will click this little button here. Oh, I'm sorry, this one explained. This is Daniel's uh, breakdown of the server and what everything means. If you want to go to the website, you click this big banner. And it's kind of cool. It takes you to the Venus Project website and the write-up of what this thing is. So you have a couple of quick links in there uh, that make it easier for you to get maneuver and uh, get go around. One last thing is to, in a seminar, or in a meeting, if the mics are disabled so that we could have like streamlined communication or non-interruptions, if you need to speak to somebody, uh, usually you want to speak to somebody or right click a name or a channel that has a server admin. You right click it and uh, request talk power. You see the second one down? Mine's grayed out because I don't have to request talk power of myself, but yours won't be. Uh, request talk power that'll send a message of a of you requesting talk power to a person this means hey I'm I'm raising my hand figuratively so this is uh, sometimes necessary in the meetings and um, this should be just about everything I showed you how to bring up this volume bar right here uh, I showed you how to join the server install the server so it should be everything you need sorry for the length are they always longer than planned but this should get uh, get the job done. Thank you for watching and enjoy your time on TeamSpeak.